Aboriginal broke TV. I done already served you a 40 piece hot wing, nigga. Drop power. B, B, King. All right. <clears throat> Aboriginal TV, you don't want no smoke neither, fool. Facts. See, you thought you was going to be slick and try to trick the people and say, oh, man, we Aboriginal to America. That make the people lazy. It make it seem like the people don't got to do nothing for this ultimate redemption of African people, nigga. Period. You made, y'all made, Dane Calloway made the people fat and lazy like him. Made, made the people fat and lazy like him. See? And, you know, y'all follow this man and shit. And because just so y'all can make some money on YouTube. Cool. If nigga dumb enough to pay you for it, cool. But that's not the question. I want to see some receipts. I want to see some scholarship. I don't want to hear Dane Calloway say it. I don't want to hear Aboriginal Power say it. I don't want to hear Aboriginal TV. I don't want to hear Komodo Dragon say it. Bring some scholars out the woodworks that say specifically what y'all saying. Don't go scratch shit out the book and go on the white shit out either. Be straight up, nigga. Come to war ready. With to a fair fight, nigga. Come with the receipts. Because if you don't come with them tickets, niggas gonna know you bullshit. Niggas gonna know you bullshit. Now, last night... Uh, brother Seti was on, I think. Yeah, I think it was last night. And he posed a very good question. And I'm going to let him say it. Listen to this. If goddamn if the Native American was really Native, he would have the oldest civilization. He don't. He, he do not. The African got they already found that African fossil in Brazil or that African woman. They lying, trying to say she was Aboriginal. Aboriginal is African. God damn it, the, the, the uh, Tasmanian people are African. Don't want to hear nothing about that. You see what I'm saying? So you see that they came in, and so, you know, they hit. They had to hit these islands, which is known as Haiti and Cuba. So, God damn it, they hit them islands first, then they came on into the Gulf. And then they came from the Pacific Ocean, you know, where you see Peru, and this, that's it, but the old Mex had presence on both sides. They tried to make it seem like they were just in this area off the, you know, off the Gulf of Mexico, but they have ports on on, on, on the uh, east coast of Mexico, and they have ports on the west coast of Mexico, and they sailed down establishing what you call Machu Picchu and all of that. They got the evidence of the old Mac down in South America. So the old Macs went all the way down into Peru, into Argentina. And not only did they come across the Atlantic, they came across the Pacific too. They, so they hit what you call the Americas from both sides before any pale haired white man or no damn Indian ever came to this land. This land map, okay? So I'm tired of that. Motherfucker talking about that native. They ain't no goddamn native, okay? So you see him. Now, he got a very good point. Because you ain't going to start. Why would man, because I done heard the Aborigines say, and obviously he have too, say uh, the origin of civilization is America. You going to have to prove that shit because... We see right now America have to import majority of their food is imported from other countries. So the ancient man, I don't give a way he would, was it. He wasn't first imp importing nothing. He had to develop to shipbuilding and being able to, you know, even with the mules and shit, the Silk Road and all that, they had to develop that uh, source of communication and trade. He ain't just start out like that. So you had a star. You talking about the origin of humanity and civilization. You got to show where the people could easily eat. Easily eat. They could just walk up and just pluck a, a fruit right off the tree, as Dr. Ben would say. It was, it's so hot 
in Africa, you don't got to wear no clothes. And you see right now the people that live in the uh in the bushes and shit, they don't wear no clothes. You know, they might have a little apron on like the Egyptians and shit. But that's about it. So it's Africa, because you're talking about peanuts and all them different kind of animals, all them rivers and lakes and shit. So that's fish, all that seafood. So Africa has everything an uh, environment would need for a person to survive because you got to think about you dealing with the first piece so you dealing with a people that's baby like and so it's in the beginning every little step you learn more the goddamn seed drop out the apple or the or the or the orange or something and the next time you come there you see a little tree growing so you develop to stages now just like the brother said just now the uh, sister that they found in Brazil. And I done already showed y'all that ticket. A couple of times, matter of fact. So I don't want to hear that. So tell Dane Calloway to overthrow that. Since y'all say America is the origin of civilization. And this is where man was created. And the Garden of Eden was America. Man, that shit, nigga, please. And, and Amer North America way on the goddamn side over there. America cold. Amer you can't grow a lot of fruits here because only four months out the year you can grow food, nigga. So how is the origin of man going to come from a place four months, only four months you can grow food? Okay? And then to prove it, look at the first white settlers that came here. They arrived like in August. So which means they had about a month to plant some. So... They didn't have enough food. That means that winter, a lot of them white settlers died. Period. When you're talking about the Roanoke Indians and all of this, I mean the Roanoke, you know, tribe or whatnot, that they, you know, went missing or whatnot. So, you got to prove all that shit. Aboriginal power, Aboriginal TV. Aboriginal TV, you don't want no smoke, food. You don't want no smoke with King. I want to see the tickets straight up because I've been asking y'all for some receipts, some real receipts. Don't just go to, because eh, eh, I done showed all the shit y'all done showed. Yeah. Man, go to the Indian Encyclopedia in 18 such and such. Motherfucker, that shit say the third race. Yeah, it say copper, but it say the third race. Bitch, we African. We the first race. We the first race of goddamn people. We not going to goddamn degrade our goddamn status. To be no goddamn cop or talking the third race. The third race, nigga. And then the shit say, y'all niggas it, it, straight hair, which y'all niggas don't got. Them people was, okay, they was black. But they had straight hair. The only people I know like that is the Dravidians in India. Period. And them the people that came through the Barren Straits, because you can see. Right there, Asia, then Alaska and America, all that shit connected, Canada. But the, when they got here, African people, the old man is African. Facts. If you want to prove that, show the receipts then. Show the receipts. I want to say, and I want to hear some scholars. I don't want to hear no y'all niggas. Okay? Y'all need to get that shit together. But Aboriginal TV, you don't want no smoke food. You don't want no smoke food just because you see uh, pyramids and, and uh, you know, things that resemble Egypt. That ain't Aboriginal, nigga. That mean that came from somewhere. Why the uh, Indians, the North American Indians, don't got the African culture, the Egyptian culture, like the Indians in South America and then in Mexico. Okay? They got a whole different uh, guard. They got a whole different religion. It's similar. It's similar. Because the Native Americans, North Americans, is African too. So I don't know where y'all coming with this Aboriginal word, which is a French, French-British word 
that y'all done uh, embellished and stretched and tried to turn it into something, nigga. So Aboriginal TV, go on load your little raggedy program up. And if you scared, say you scared. Jop out. Be, be, king.